needing help. It feels like suffocating. Um, there's no one to help you but yourself. Nobody understands. They think you're just skipping, but you're not. Um, needing help is very frustrating because when you don't think you deserve the help, you don't get it, even if you really need it. Because there's not very many people who are willing to openly share how they feel. So once you start to realize how you feel, it can make you feel different. It's a hard thing to overcome, but I promise you that it happens. Sometimes walking into classrooms and just trying to talk to your friends can have people resulting in thinking you're annoying and telling you to shut up all the time. But when you're in these situations, you need to know that to get better, you shouldn't shut up and that you should make yourself heard. Just being scared and not knowing what to do and you reach out to somebody and they don't believe you and you, you don't feel like you can have help with anything. You just feel so alone and helpless and that's scary for someone who doesn't really feel like they can talk to their mom or their dad or anybody who just feels like they're not normal. When you need help, you feel useless because you can't help yourself. You feel like maybe there isn't anybody to help you because you're not sure. Why do you try to find it? You know, if not opportunity knocks at your door, you're supposed to take it, not shove it away. It is tough to get help. Uh, you have to have the bravery, I guess, for lack of a better word, to go get your help. And then if you can't find it there, you're gonna have to go look somewhere else or whatever. It is really hard for youth today to get the help they need, like with the mental health. You know, the Y does a good job to supply it to people, but not a lot of people are able to uh, get the help that they need. So it's really uh, costing the youth of today. Some kids just don't have, like, like I said, they just don't have the, the know-how or even just the, like, the bravery to even tell other people what they're feeling, you know. They might get, think they're gonna get made fun of or just think other people will think of them as a joke or something, but they really just need to go and get that help that they need. With these resources and fundings and affordable housing would make life easier and less stressful. No, I'm unemployed because there's lack of jobs. Stressful. Upsetting some days. Bored some days. One run away some days. But if I run away, then the problems don't get solved. There needs to be less of a stigma towards people with eating disorders because it's not just uh, a disorder for teenage girls. It affects men and it affects adults. Like when I was in treatment, I met women who were in their 50s. It affects everybody and it needs to be addressed because it's like a life-threatening thing and it sucks and it, it needs to be fixed like really, really soon, I think. I lost all my friends. They weren't there for me and basically they were the ones who put me down the path that I didn't really want to be in. It wasn't me. I feel so ashamed of what I did to my parents. I think about it every single day. And to pick friends over family, that's just, I think that's the worst sin you can ever do. I needed help with my situation on just getting my life on track, I guess. I think I'm 18 and I, you know, I wanted to, to be, have, I wanted to figure out what I wanted to do with my life. 
because I found I wasn't going anywhere. So I wanted to figure out what I wanted to do. And what I wanted to do, which is what Youth Quest helped me do, which is find the career that I wanted to have, which is the cafe. So now I work in a cafe and I love it. <laughs> I love baking. It's so much fun. It's a lot. And I like serving people. I like seeing people leave with a smile on their face. So that's a good thing. I like positive. What agencies to do can do to make sure that their help is helpful? Well, there's tons of things that agencies are, should be doing that they're not doing. Um, for instance, I've had over 10 counselors and only two of them I could say that actually worked because they don't listen, they talk, they don't listen and they give advice. Sometimes you don't want advice, you just want someone to listen, that's all you want. Because advice, it can make you feel more stressed because you can't do what they're asking you to do. Um, they could make more media and, and commercials and they can add more um, mental health issues in television and ways that they can overcome their mental illnesses in television and there's just so much that agencies can do to make this world a better place and to make people a lot more happier but in the end they just care about money but i think people who do try to help i think they just have to have a better understanding on who the person really is and what they're actually going through. I saw a counselor, like, she, she has this relation with me and that she can really relate to me and that was really, really important to me. I know when I needed help, you know, I've had my own, my own stuff happen, you know. I went, first I went to the Canadian Mental Health uh, Association and then there's actually this really good program through the RVH. It's, uh, it's called the Cara House, I think. And I went there. I got some help from people 24-7. Like, uh, it's basically just like a house you can go to for mental health. You need help. You know, they'll go there. If you need to talk at 3 in the morning, there's someone always up to talk to you, stuff like that, you know. They, they do have really good, they do have some really good programs to get the help. Well, there's a lot of different ways, I mean, uh, like, even just like if they're in high school or whatever, you know, I'm sure they've got guidance counselors at school, teachers, their parents, I'm sure would, their parents would probably go through anything, any kind of lengths to get them the help that they need. I know there's some specific cases where that's not the case, but for the most part, your parents should probably have a good idea. Um, even just people that you trust too, like your friends, even their family maybe, and neighbors. I know I've had really good neighbors over a couple years that I was able to talk to and get help from them, so it was good. I've been lied to by like people I thought I could trust, like therapists, family, best, best friends, and yeah. Um, to everybody, the help in Muskoka is not all that good. It's actually kind of more like shit because um, there's not all too much of a wide variety and it's more stereotypically based and judgmental and they don't really seem to get what it is that we need. Okay, so I feel that we need to have more resources for the people of Simcoe County um, for the means of people with eating disorders who are over the age of 18 because I know I, for myself, um, I had to be on a waiting list for probably almost more than a year to go to a place in Toronto because we don't have any support here really. Um, and I really feel like that's a really big deal and it needs to be addressed. Because I know that I have to have a routine in order for me to like really like know what I have to do in order to like get better because I never had a routine growing up and I sort of fell out of place in life. I know that I have a routine, I'm going to school, and I'm getting credits, and I'm really proud of myself, and yeah.
That was much regret, but it made me feel better. I mean, yes, like I said, you do need help, and it kind of does suck needing help, but when the help comes, you feel relieved, like the whole world's just brought up your shoulders.